Okay, you see this box? Yes. Where's that label? See what it says right there? <laughs> this box comes all the way from England. And inside this box are the pieces that I'm going to use for the show. So the first thing I would do is I take all the edges off here. I'm actually, when I do this, I'm actually shaping it so that when I get to put it on John's face or whoever's playing the panda, that it's actually like ready to go. Part of the makeup actually sits on the side of the nose. It has to be exactly half a face good, half a face deformed. So what I do is I try to fit the, the piece around the nose first. Because if it can fit there, then I know it will fit the person's face. And I wouldn't have to stretch it because you really can't stretch it. Because if you stretch the prosthetic, then it's tight on the person's face. And it's uncomfortable with the singing. So you make it as comfortable as possible. And then good little curved scissors and that I will trim off the pieces that I don't need and I always undercut it this way I make sure that when it lays it to his head it lays very flat. I was working in the salon where a lot of celebrities came and I was doing my apprenticeship there and um, that was Rudell's as the salon for generations have gone by but I started there and then um, there was a guy called Stanley James and he was working on a raisin in the sun he said come meet me at work and I went to work with him that day and I was like really fascinated by what he was doing and working in the theater. I had, I'm from a small island. I had no idea about what theater was like in America, you know. Where, I would, where are you from? I'm from, from Barbados. So I'm like, I actually do the face in my hand like a little bit like this. Just to get the color. This helps me with the colors that I'm... <laughs> this helps me with the colors that I'm choosing, you know. I, I, I'm still excited about what I do because I love what I do and not many people get to really work in the field that they love to, do, to work in. Um, I came here, I was going to be a singer and everything and work on Broadway. But then you have to face reality when you look at it. How many black people did well, back then anyway, you see more now, but how many black people do you actually see on stage? You don't see too many. So if I'm going to eat and not have to be going out here hungry or so, I have to love what I do and I'm still within the same business that I love. And the next thing, I, before I get to this level with these, I will show you what I do overnight. I take the block. So when I take this off, this block, I should be able to put it straight onto his head without having to worry about not fitting and not painting. When you sit out in the audience and you see the little, especially the little children, and they're so excited. Like last night, this little kid brought her doll to see the Phantom. I could not get over this. I brought my doll to see the Phantom. So I came back here and got John to sign an autograph picture, autograph figure, photograph for her. And then I gave her one of those uh, things that we use for kids, uh, not things, but uh, a layout of the stage that we use for kids night on Broadway. And she was like all excited. But when you can touch, like, touch the souls of so many people without even knowing them, it is so important. And I feel that every child that comes to the theater should have a good time and should be able to remember their first day at the theater. I tell you what happened one time, um, we didn't put the alopecia right on from the beginning and Davis Gaines was playing the Phantom. He sat here in the chair intermission, he got up for the masquerade and then he got back into the, to the other wigs. And we're talking, and he picks up the wig, and he's telling me to put it on, and comes to the end where he's where he's supposed to get a mask, and he had no hair, <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, I can't go back up there like that. Put it back on. Put it back on." And we did, you know, definitely like that. But all the time, we make sure that we're both concentrated. Whoever's in here, yeah. Thank you.